This example here is more of a diagram analysis. Which diagram? Same ladder, la, same ladder. But wait, they ask you which diagram correctly represents the forces. Let's look at the question carefully and break it down. A ladder is positioned on an icy frictionless ground. Ooh, so ground does not have friction. And is leaned against a rough wall. Rough wall means got friction on the wall. At the instant of release, it begins to slide. Which diagram correctly shows the forces PWR acting on the ladder? You notice how they say got friction, no friction, but they only draw one force at the end? You remember, so these P and R forces likely already have friction and normal force combined together into one. Go check back on the, uh, the first, first slide of diagrams to see what I mean. So let's see. Uh, which one does not have friction? The, the ground does not have friction. So ground has no friction. Means only has a normal reaction force. So normal reaction force. Normal reaction means, normal means perpendicular. So the force on the ground should only be perpendicular, which means C and D are out. Okay. A and B, perpendicular, perpendicular. Nice. So there's only normal reaction force and no friction, so it's perpendicular. How about the wall? The wall is rough, so got friction, force, and also the normal reaction force, both together. And I think they combine both to form what we call force P in this case. So got friction then cannot be perpendicular anymore so it has to be this one why because if we break down the components of p it's going to be one this way and this is a brighter color one up so this one is your friction force and the other one is your normal reaction force kind of right very small so in this case, they combine both and they only show you one. So you need to know, got friction, no friction, how you know perpendicular or not. Okay, go through this again and think through very carefully.